But we mentioned Randy Orton before, and I really wanted to talk about this. Randy Orton is a very interesting case. Because right now, technically, he's a de facto number two, number one, top heel in the company. It doesn't feel like it, but he is. With so many guys out, Bray Wyatt being... No, I, okay, I'll say it. Buried. 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 He was buried. <laughs> At the hands of John Cena, he was. So we only got Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, and Kane in 2014 as a top heel in WWE. Um, but that being said, though, there was a rumor, and I think... Did RJ... Did you say that? Randy Orton said it before. Or RJ said it before. Randy Orton, there's a report that he might be going babyface in time for WrestleMania. Now, here's the thing. There's been rumors. Not really rumors. I think a lot of people have just been pitching it, and myself included. A Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton matchup. Now, Randy Orton would not be a heel, but he would not be a babyface either. I think he works better in the heel mode, but he's been so, what's the word for it, devalued as a heel over the last year and a half. because It's not his fault. It's the fact they've booked him so badly. Um, I think if they put him in a position where he could be an anti-hero, like in 2010, 2011, after he, like, when he was doing the thing with Sheamus and all that kind of stuff, I thought he was great when he broke away from the legacy. If you bring back that Randy Orton have that Randy Orton feud with Brock Lesnar going into Survivor Series in his hometown of St. Louis, I think that could be a great feud. And that'd be a great way to kick off a Randy Orton anti-hero shtick for him going into WrestleMania or whatever they do with him, whether it be in a feud with Bray Wyatt or a Dean Ambrose, I think that could be great. But um, I want to get your thoughts on that. RJ, first, you're a Randy Orton fan, so yep. I want to get your thoughts. Do you think he should go babyface, anti-hero, stay heel? What do you see that as the future for Randy Orton? I feel like he should... He, like. In a way, he'd be babyface, but like his character obviously still wouldn't be like like the anti-hero kind of thing. Exactly. I feel like he could do that in the coming weeks, getting sick of the authority, kissing up to Seth Rollins, and just not want to be like their henchman anymore, and just realize that he can go on and be a bigger star than he is right now. I would love the idea of him going against Lesnar and being a new, fresh, fresh feud that we haven't seen in WWE for a while, and I feel like he could put on some really good matches with Lesnar. Could probably like his like psychotic like. Persona could go well with uh, Lesnar. And they're also both the group. They're also both the class of 2002 from OBW. Like you said before, they had one match on SmackDown like 12 years ago. But that was when Randy Orton was like a jobber at that point. <laughs> so it's a fresh matchup. Yeah. And here's the thing, too. This is very scary, okay? So since Brock Lesnar has returned, and I just realized this, and I can't believe no one else has mentioned this, Brock Lesnar returned to WWE 12, or, I'm sorry, two years ago. 2012. In that time, the only fresh face, I mean, it kind of defines who you define as a fresh face. The only fresh face he's, face, he, he's you know, gone up against is CM Punk. That's it, because he's faced John Cena before. For Big Show before. He's faced Big Show before, The Undertaker before. Triple H. Triple H. Oh, he never faced Triple H before, but Triple H is an established guy. He's already a veteran by that point when they feed him for a year. I don't know why they did that feud for so long as they did. But Randy wouldn't be much of the same, but at least it's a matchup that we've never seen before, for the most part, aside from that one match, that we've never seen as Randy Orton being a solidified star in the WWE. So I like the, I like the idea of a Lesnar-Randy Orton match, especially at Survivor Series. If they can't get Lesnar to do Survivor Series, that's ridiculous. It's one of their biggest pay-per-views of the year. It hasn't felt like that in a long time. That's the same pay-per-view that we got Randy Orton versus Big Show at last year in the main event. But um, even so, I think if they brought back Brock Lesnar to do a match with Orton next year at Survivor Series, I think it could be great, especially in his hometown. So, Jamie, I want to get your thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on Randy Orton as it is? Do you think he should stay heel, go anti-hero, go babyface? And do you see a Brock Lesnar-Randy Orton feud being plausible? I would probably go the same route as... Or, or, or um, sorry, um, I would probably go the same route as... Or, or um, as... Um, as RJ just said there, um, like, or like, you know, just have him finally snap, have him finally just say like, all right, I've had enough of this crap. And you know what? I would even probably go as far as, as doing like, you know, have him punt Kane. <laughs> oh, I think you said punk Kane. I'm sorry. I think you said CM Punk oh, no, versus punk Kane. Kane. <laughs> no, punk Kane. Thank punk God. Kane. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just have him do that. And. And, and like, really, I actually think that a Lesnar and Randy feud could actually work. I mean, like, um, I mean, if you were to, like, maybe begin it at, like, around Survivor Series, maybe, and have it finally, or, or sorry, um, and have it um, uh, be done by, let's say, like, around the Rumble time, um, I think that that, I think that that would be great, really, um, because, um, everyone was so hyped up on like, oh, Orton's finally healed, Orton's finally healed, but see, 
I prefer 2007 Horton. Heel Horton. When he's over. still the legend killer, yeah. When, exactly, because, like, because, like, the last time I had any, like, true invested interest in him was when he was kicking people in the head every week. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, 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 like, really, I mean, if there's one, I mean, like, if there's one thing that they could do to, I guess, bring back that spark and finally, like, you know, not have the product be the way it is right now, just have Orton snap in, like, the final segment and just, like, you know, toss out Hunter, toss out Rollins, RKO Kane, and punt him in the head. Exactly. I think the thing is with Randy Orton that he really has no motivation to be here, because here's the thing with Randy Orton. I, I wouldn't go far as as far back as 07. I wasn't really watching at the time, obviously, but I loved Randy Orton when he was like that sadistic viper when he was feeding with John Cena back in like 09, about five years ago, and he was so vicious, and there was really no redeeming qualities about Randy Orton. Nowadays, and he does have his moments, like when he beat up Roman Reigns and beat the living crap out of him a couple of weeks ago, remember right before SummerSlam? That was awesome. And he has his moments, like when he beats the crap out of Miz, but then he goes back the very next week to being the lapdog to the authority. They really have no consistency with the character whatsoever. So if they can maybe make him anti-hero, definitely break him away from the authority. That has done him no favors. Like Jamie just said, everyone, myself included, was so hyped when Randy Orton went heel. But since day one of his heels run, his latest heel run, he's been aligned with the authority. That's the biggest takeaway from his current character is that he's aligned with people that are just going to make him secondary because Triple H is always going to be the number one heel in that group. Rollins is arguably above Randy Orton right now. They need to bring back that spark in Randy Orton by having him separate himself from the authority and then have him feud with Brock Lesnar, hopefully going into Survivor Series saying, I don't want to be that guy anymore. And here's the thing, too, because Roman Reigns is now out. The whole reason why Randy Orton didn't get a title shot at SummerSlam to begin with was because of Roman Reigns. Remember Triple H said... Just letting Ro- Reigns get over, that's why. That's exactly. This whole summer was pretty much getting Reigns over. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But Triple H was saying in storyline was that you can't face... You, know, you can't go for the WWE World WWE Championship while Roman Reigns is still around. Well, Roman Reigns is gone. So that being said, why can't Randy Orton go for the championship? And it depends on who you talk to, but he's never gotten his one-on-one rematch for the championship since he lost the title at WrestleMania. And he's brought that up, too, in, on TV, on Twitter. He's still pissed about it. If people spot that. So I see really no reason why they can't break him off on his own. And this isn't even coming from the biggest Randy Orton fan. I just think it'd be better for him, better for the product. Just fresh. Just fresh, fresh, exactly. And if they can pick Bray Wyatt back up, and we'll talk about him in a second too, <laughs> if they can pick Bray Wyatt back up, start pushing him again as a top heel in the company, as he should be, because if they if they never really had him job to see him in the first place or had him look inferior to Cena over the last six months – then maybe the product would be a little better right now because he'd be a top heel and we wouldn't only have Seth Rollins. You'd have more fresh faces at the top of the roster that don't that aren't just named Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. So, that being said, I think if they can right the wrongs with Bray Wyatt going into WrestleMania, they could do a Randy Orton Bray versus Bray Wyatt matchup. They did Randy Orton insulted Bray Wyatt. Remember at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view this year? He was saying something about Bray Wyatt being like a creepy old guy or something weird like that. And he attacked John <laughs> Cena instead. I don't know if a lot of people remember that. And, I mean, obviously they wouldn't talk about this, but it was Randy Orton who punted Husky Harris in the head when he left TV four or five years ago. Remember? They obviously were not They were not re- Not at all. They, they're not going to bring up Husky Harris. But the history is there, you know, for us wrestling fans that like history. But um, we're going to Bray Wyatt right now. And anyway, to close on Randy Orton, I think he can, if they can right the wrongs with Bray Wyatt, or with Randy Orton, I'm sorry, I think he can have a great run going into WrestleMania as an anti-hero, as a babyface, as a heel. Bottom line, Break him away from the authority. 